Hi and welcome back to my channel. Hi baby. Hi babies. So today we're going into Goodwill and we're going to go look and see what we can buy and sell on eBay. Let's go. Remote. Remote. So my daughter was asking if she could find some remotes. <laughs> she likes to play with the remotes whenever we come in. And today Orange Tag is 50% off. Little teapot back there. $2.99. Dollar ninety nine on this paperweight. I'm gonna let it ride in the buggy. I have no idea what this is, but I kinda like it. <laughs> the gray is like um it's painted on, but it reminds me of like a stone. And it looks like it's made out of red clay. And that top part is like a sticker residue. It's a little bit dirty, but it's okay. I think it's a handmade piece. Or somebody hand painted it. I'm not sure. I'm going to let it ride in the buggy, and then I'll do some comps on it. I have no clue what it is. Another little paperweight. Nine nine cents on this glass, the red glass. There are some chips on it. Three ninety nine on this tile. It's really big. It's pretty heavy too. I don't see any damage. I'm gonna let this one ride as well, without damaging any of it. Dollar ninety nine on that puppy. Kind of looked like he was missing hair. This I thought was gonna be like um, chalkware, but it's ceramic and its nose. I don't know if that's supposed to be its nose or its mouth, but kind of looks like a hiney. <laughs> oh, this giant dinosaur head mug. Hand wash only. I'm gonna let this one ride, of course. I like these glasses, but I didn't see any marking on it, so I left it behind. And that's Pioneer Woman. And I think that this would have had pieces to go on top of it with those little indentions. But I'm still going to let it ride. I don't think it's a candle holder. I think it's something like for your probably salt and pepper shakers or something. Butter dish. Let's see. 99 cents on that little glass whale, but he's broken. His little tail's broken. Ray Dunn. A dollar ninety nine on that little sugar dish. All the mugs here are ninety nine cents. And some of the plates are too, unless they're marked otherwise, but there's another dinosaur mug. I'm going to pick this one up as well. Let it ride in the buggy. That one says Think Green on it, I think is what it says. Little chicken mugs. I love looking in the mug section. I have a bunch of mugs, though. <laughs> and I don't drink coffee. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny.
I do pretty well with mugs. That's why I like looking at them. Opal House, that's Target. It's the letter T. I try not to get things that have initials or people's names on it. Because I feel like that's just going to be a harder sell. That little beehive is really cute. It says it's Fultz Graph, and I didn't know that Fultz Graph made like a chip and dip. I think that's what that is. But I think it would have came with a bowl. That says made in Spain. $1.99 I don't pick this one up. It is really cute. I like the bee on it. And again, that's $0.99 because it didn't have a tag on it. Dollar nine nine on that mason jar. Cheese and cracker plate. Now these remind me of Cotina dolls, and I sold cups that were like tumbler glasses that had the Cotina doll on it, and I sold those pretty fast, but these have a lot of dishwasher wear. Maybe I should have picked them up and tried to clean it, but I left them behind. And I left these behind as well. I like these bowls. Premier. Another... I have a set like this for me and the kids to play, but not in a box. Um, this one's $3.99. It's chess, checkers, Chinese checkers. I think that's what's in there. And then I opened it to see because, you know, I always need to look at it. But I have no clue what these little bean things are. And on the front of the box, it doesn't show a picture of those little, like, seeds is what it looks like to me. A bingo game. Monopoly. So I've been looking for um, some things for myself whenever I come here. Like I want a mason jar set, but I don't know if it would be easier or better if I do it brand new. Because I want to can some vegetables this year. And then I've never done that ever and then I need a double boiler. I think that's what they're called. So I've been looking to find one here too. And then I don't know if I need like a giant pot for canning my stuff. I have no clue what that is. Beezer, Weezer, Wiser, I don't know. <laughs> Little games. A glass chest set, eight ninety nine. It's pretty heavy and really dusty. That says top on it, so so you don't break it when you open it. I did look at it and then I forgot to film it. It did look like it had all the pieces in it, but they were discolored. They weren't like clear anymore. Some of them were kind of yellow. And that's an empty box. <laughs> $2.99 on this. It says uh, InnoDesk. I wonder if it's like a scanning thing that sends it right to your computer. Like scan your documents maybe. I'm not sure. Or maybe receipts. I don't know. 
$5.99 on that food saver. I have no clue if it works. And I think it's missing the cords. And then they had a Tom Tom. $8.99. I remember back before GPS was even on your phone, before you even had like the fancy smartphones, we would just do MapQuest <laughs> whenever we did road trips. And then it was either me or my sister holding the paper, telling my mom where to go <laughs> on this MapQuest paper. $3.99 on that little salt, Himalayan salt lamp thing. Melissa and Doug, little whiteboard easel thing. $49.99 on the vacuum. I'm pretty sure it's missing like the charger. A little rooster on that top shelf. I have no clue what this is. It says it's a bobblehead. I don't know what it is. But it was a bobblehead when I opened it. And my daughter was trying to eat those lemons. She thought they were real. I'm going to pick up this rooster. It looks like it's hand carved. And again, at the end, I always do comps. And then whatever I don't end up buying, I always put back. I'm looking for a signature or anything like that, and there's not one. So I put the tag back on there. To me, it definitely looks hand-carved. $1.99. This is pretty heavy. It feels like stone. It does have some chips on the edge. And on the inside, it looks like it was um, like put on one of those spinny, like what you do with clay is what it looks like in there. But I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I know it's a cup. $3.99 on that. I don't know what you call that, a mixing bowl with a handle. Daffy Duck little hot notes. It's like a dry erase board and it's in the original package. The marker probably doesn't work, but it's a collector's item. It's 99 cents. So I'm going to pick this one up and let it ride in the buggy. Just little knickknacks in there. It's like a little tablet holder pop sockets I love pop sockets and that one hooks up into your car vent and you can put your phone in it to hold it so I'm gonna pick this up for myself not for resale I was trying to see if they had any more pop sockets in here. And they do, they have a pink one. So I'm going to pick this one up as well. I don't know what store it originally came from because it had a tag, a discount tag for 97 cents. And I've never seen pop sockets for 97 cents. It's a little thermos. I would have picked this up, but it was really dirty. And I could have washed it, but I had some stains and scratches on the inside. Okay, $1.99 on this lacquerware coaster set. My daughter found it on the other shelf. It does have a, a little bit of damage on two of them, like in the corners. Or not corners, because they're, they're round <laughs> on the edge. 
I'm trying to make sure that they're all in there. And there's another little chip on the bottom, but yeah, all six of them are in there. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those and we'll do comp on those. But normally lacquerware does pretty well. That is some Starbucks coffee mugs, but again, they have a lot of scratches and it's not just dishwasher wear. But I'm still going to look it up. Maybe I can... That looks like real flowers. They put like some type of resin on maybe. A little wooden bowl. It says Missouri on it. $2.99. Souvenir piece from Branson, Missouri. But then it has some weird... I don't know what that is. And it didn't come off, so I left it. <laughs> New cart. That's $1.99. And I know some of these um, will be, you know, like a good seller. But I don't know if all of them are. A little man in a sombrero, two ninety nine. It was cracked at the bottom. I thought he might have been a jar, but he's not. I love that little basket on the bottom. It's wooden. It's very well made. It has a handle, $4.99. I really like that. I think somebody might have made that themselves. Maybe. That's really nice. I did leave it behind, but I would have picked it up for myself, but I really liked it. Maybe I should have grabbed it anyways. <laughs> Candle holder or candlestick holder. That's another candle holder. Two ninety nine. But I think if you put a real candle in there, I think it would melt the outside candle. I don't know. Five ninety nine that came from Kohl's. It's like a little floating shelf that comes with a level so you can make sure that it's straight. I'm guessing. I left it. <laughs> I left it behind. A dollar ninety nine on this piece. I don't know what it is because it has like multiple little pour spouts. Maybe I should have picked it up, but I left it behind. But we're gonna head back home, and I'll show you what I picked up. All right, so now we're back home. Um, this is everything that I picked up. I did get quite a few things today, different items, stuff that I haven't sold before. Um, when I was at the store, I really liked this piece. It's not broken. It is a tile. But then when I took the tag off, it says made in Italy. It looks like somebody glued those on themselves. And I'm just going to leave that on there because I don't want to accidentally break it. It's really nice. I did pick up the little dry erase board for um it's magnetic it's got little magnet strips on it so i just picked that up pick that up it was 99 cents i didn't find anything online with this because i didn't know it was made in italy so i'll definitely be looking that up and i didn't find one of these but i'm just going to put about 15 on it best offer And I did pick up the, I think this is a T-Rex. That's what it looks like to me. This was 99 cents as well. No damage, not that I could see right now. A little crazing, but I think that's okay. You can kind of see it on its teeth. Um, I did see this one online and it was just recently sold for $20. I did pick up the other T-Rex. He does have like a little paint chip. It's not like a chip to his foot. It's just paint. Um, but I think that's still okay. It says it's Think Green. And this was 99 cents as well. And I didn't find this one, but I'm going to put him about 15. 
And then I did pick up the lacquerware coasters. They do have a little bit of damage, but they were $1.99. And all of them look good besides one of the coasters has like a little bit of damage on the edge. I think it was this one, yeah. That one right there. But that's okay. I'm still going to put that in the listing and I will always tell people when something's wrong with the item. I did pick up this little paperweight. $1.99. And I did not take this tag off when I was at the store. Which I should have because it's broken. I kind of still think it's okay because it's on the bottom. All right, you can hear my kids in the background. <laughs> uh, I did get the wooden chicken. It kind of looks like it was hand carved to me, especially on the bottom. I don't know if it is or not because I think if it was, there would have been a signature and there's no signature on this one. It is pretty heavy, so I did pick it up. And I picked up this. I have no clue what it is. It kind of feels like like a type of marble. And then up here there is like some little bit of chipping on it. When I looked up this, just like Google Lens, it pulled up other people's listings of this style. And it was like that same stone. But they had like... Um, kind of like Greek gods on it and not the elephants and it started with a P like the brand and they came with like the original tag but there is no tag on this one it's $1.99 uh, and then that and I did pick up this I have no clue what it is either I just liked it <laughs> and I feel like somebody else will enjoy it as well I don't know if you put a candle in there. It's a little dusty inside these little holes. I don't know if you can see that. I can clean that up. And then it was $2.99. I don't know. No maker. No marking. I Google lensed it. Couldn't find it. I don't know if somebody made that. And up here is not a chip. That's like some sticker that I'll have to take off. And this right here is like paint. Right there. It's like paint. But... I think somebody will still like it. And that's everything that I picked up today. I did get those pop sockets for myself, not for resale. And then that's everything that I got today. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.